everybody, Jeff here, Aromatics. Hope everybody is doing well. I'm doing pretty good. Just got back from getting some groceries and felt like sitting outside and smoking a pipe. I wasn't going to do a review, but I thought, ah, what the heck, I got some time and uh, it doesn't take long to set up my camera and to give you guys an impression of what I'm smoking. And speaking of that, um, a couple of people have been uh, um, talking to me about my reviews and they just, uh, most people like the way that I describe the tobaccos. And I just wanted to make sure that um, I let you guys know that I never really want to come across, or I don't want to come across ever, as being pretentious. Um, I do describe the tobaccos as best I can, and, and I really want people to get a good idea of what the tobacco tastes like. You know, I don't want to give just a I like it or I don't like it type of response. Um, I want people to be able to, you know, watch a review um, and be able to hear all the little nuances that I'm pulling apart and then maybe they can even listen to other reviewers that might have a different take on it and they can kind of put together an idea of what that tobacco is so they can, if they're interested in a tobacco, they can spend their hard-earned money on a tobacco that they have a pretty good idea of what they like. So I just enjoy pulling apart stuff that I taste and of course the tobacco basically just has a simple taste usually but some of us just like to pull out those little nuances and describe what we're tasting it's kind of a game that that I like to play with myself anyway and part of the enjoyment of smoking a blend but anyway the blend I will be reviewing today is Sutliff's Bourbon Street Match which is a match to a Middleton blend I think it was called Bourbon Street and before that it was called Bond Street and it is a another one of those ruddy rubbed really chunky blends i'll show you a picture here if i get a chance to take a picture and do some editing and it's pretty chunky and tip of the day is experiment with drying out your tobaccos if you've watched my channel a lot of you know that i really like to dry out my tobaccos really really crispy dry and this one uh by accident when i first smoked it i thought it was pretty good not too bad, but I didn't get too much out of it. I thought it was pretty mild. But then I brought some to work and I didn't really have time to dry it out. So I packed my pipe. It already comes at probably the perfect moisture for most people. Although I like mine a little drier. But anyway, I packed it at that regular moisture. And the flavors really came out a lot more than, than normal. As well as experiment with if it's a chunky or a flake. Experiment with, you know, folding stuff or rubbing out. You get different different taste profiles too and this one I find if you leave leave it somewhat chunky and not too dry the tastes really pop you know when the heat hits those little cubes it expands them and you get a real hit of flavor at least I do anyway and I don't really seem to get any bite out of it um, as a consequence or anything like that as well so okay let's get on with the review now what am I smelling is pretty interesting I get a First of all, it's sort of a uh, the first thing you get is sort of that cocoa burly smell, and on top of that, I'm getting a powdered sugar, almost vanilla smell, and ivory soap. You're getting a soapy smell. So, word of caution right away: if you do not like Mixture 79 or Lakelands, this one is probably a no-no for sure. Although the flavors are mellow. Well, let me get lit up, and then I'll I'll talk. smoking my Calabash corn cob pipe. It's got a nice little chamber in there. I got a filter in there as well for a super dry smoke. So on first light up, kind of is a little bit mild. You get that sweet sugary taste. The burley is really is in the background. It's the toppings that pretty much stand out. A little bit of Cavendish in there. Oh, it's it's mostly a Burley with a little bit of Virginia and a little bit of Latakia and a little bit of Preek. Although, you can't really taste any of those condiment tobaccos. They just kind of go together and make it taste like a basic ready rub. And there, I just got a hint. You get you get um, like punches of flavors here and there. And that I, was where I got the, that ivory soap hit right there. Now there is a little bit of a, a bourbon topping in there, but 
very, very light. And I would actually describe it as Southern Comfort. If you've ever had Southern Comfort, without the medicine taste, but that sweetness, that apricot kind of thing, that alcoholic apricot, that would be sort of the taste I'm getting. I always have neighbors going by. It's a busy street. Always friendly, people waving. And this one I really like to puff on. Normally I'm a slow smoker, but this one... So pretty soapy, like an ivory soap, kind of like, sweet too, like a really sweet powdered sugar ivory soap is the toppings that you're going to get. I love it. I, I love weird blends. I didn't think I would at first. I was kind of like, eh, this is a sleeper blend. I probably won't like it. In my first smoke, I didn't get much out of it. But once I left it chunky, didn't dry it out too much, whew, those flavors pop. And if you like them, they're pretty I really enjoy this one I ordered eight ounces right away and it was out I ordered they said there was one ounce left I ordered it and then I put notify when they come in and then I had an instant email saying they had more in so I ordered eight ounces right away so who is this for if you like those really crazy blends uh, soapy type blends or um, like maybe a Lakeland uh, maybe mixture 79 or filled and stream and even then you might not you might not like this. It's not super strong, but the flavors you get are odd. So I'm just warning you. But I really enjoy it, and if you like crazy flavors and sweet tobacco, you may like this too. So I hope you enjoyed my review, and I'll see you guys on my next one. Till then, take care. Aromatic, signing out.